Hi, and welcome to Jamie DeRoy and Friends. We want to wish you a very happy and a healthy new year. We have lots to celebrate, lots of new productions on and off Broadway. But City Center is celebrating its 75th anniversary. It was built in 1923 by the Shriners as a meeting hall. It was then set for demolition, but Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia saved it, and it reopened in 1943 as the People's Theater. It celebrates arts under one roof, theater, arts, music, opera, dance. It is my, one of my favorite spaces in New York. They host the Encore series, which brings back old Broadway shows. Then they started the Off Center series, which brings back off Broadway shows. It's played host to so many luminaries, including Leonard Bernstein, Barbara Cook, Helen Hayes, and others. We'd like to share this tribute that was shown at the gala for the 75th anniversary of City Center. Every time I talk about the most thrilling experience of my artistic career, it always starts here. I love New York City Center. I would consider New York City Center to be one of my artistic homes. There's such a great family atmosphere, and the, from the staff to the people backstage. When you walk on the stage of City Center, you know that you're walking into history. City Center is hollow ground. It's, it's one of those rare spaces where you feel like you've done it and you've made it. I'm just so grateful for everything that City Center has done to create an opportunity for us to make a work that we really believed in. Hello. I am Abdul. Welcome to New York City Center. 75 years ago, this building was given as a gift to New York. Mayor Fiorella LaGuardia had a vision for a performing arts center that was accessible to everyone. To this day, City Center upholds that commitment to keeping the arts affordable. This is a theater for the people. It's a place where friends and family can see a show, share the experience of a live performance, be a part of history. When I think of New York City Center, I imagine the legacy of luminaries who have graced the stage. Singers like Camilla Williams, Beverly Sills, and my dear friend, Barbara Cook. Standing here on the stage of New York City Center, this historic, beautiful theater, I feel a song coming on. City Center's dance history is filled with edge-of-your-seat performances. As the artistic director of Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, I'm proud to call City Center our second home. For me, what's really special is in Fall for Dance, you're sharing a program with many other companies and many other dancers from around the world, and you get to warm up in the same space together, and I'm so in awe of all the other major dance companies that come in. Over the past 15 years, Fall for Dance has become an institution. I can't think of any other dance program where people are lined up around the block to see dance. It's like a Beyonce concert. It's almost like a civil right, you know, to come and see the art form. City Center is famous for presenting the world's greatest dance, music, and theater. And with encores, all three of these art forms merge together in a single performance. I made my City Center debut as part of the fourth season of encores. And it was my particular honor to star in St. Louis Woman, the first musical that Encores ever reconstructed from scratch. It's very rare to be able to revisit these beautiful shows in a fresh new perspective. It's unlike any other experience I've had as a performer. It's a two-pronged situation. First prong, terrifying. <laughs> Second prong, it really does force you to just trust yourself. It reminds people that theater can be an event. It's about, did you see that production of... Chicago was unique. There we were, in rehearsal, with no time, and with the greatest dancers on all of Broadway. Anyway, act two comes, and it's Mr. Cellophane. And, um... Stop the show. Five years ago, City Center introduced the theater world to Encores' new sibling series, Encores Off Center, with an aim to reintroduce edgier shows that pushed creative boundaries when they originally premiered. Encores Off Center tells different stories and offers a stage for diverse voices to be heard by new audiences. It takes shows that were written for small audiences, and it gets to bring them into the spotlight. 
you know, it's awesome. In art, it is crucial to have diverse voices, you know, people of diverse backgrounds expressing the, the tapestry of experience that we've all shared. You wouldn't be able to do that anywhere other than someplace like Off Center. When you perform at City Center, there is something so organic and sort of profound because you have to be in the moment. There's no other choice. Being asked to go to the foundation of who you are as a performer and as an artist, and that that is accepted and embraced here, I don't know any other place in the world like it. New York City Center. 75 years. And just getting started. Playing at the Belasco Theater is the national theater production of Network. It's based on Patty Chayefsky's film and written by Lee Hall, directed by Ivo Von Hove. And it stars Tony Award winner Brian Cranston. Here is a look at Network, also starring Tony Goldwyn and Tatiana Maslany. One Footnote. minute to go. One minute to go. Can we have power? Continuity. It's time for tonight with Howard Beale. Five, four, three. Camera and Howard. Playing at the Schubert Theater, Jeff Daniels is now starring in To Kill a Mockingbird. Adapted from Harper Lee's novel, Aaron Sorkin has written a masterful piece. You do not want to miss it. It also stars Celia Keenan-Bolger, Will Pullen, Stark Sands, Gideon Glick, and Latanya Richardson-Jackson. It's directed by Tony Award winner Bartlett Shear. The Manhattan Theatre Club presents Choir Boy, playing at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater, directed by Trip Coleman. Jeremy Pope, no Chuck Pope, Cooper, book, and Austin Pendleton. It is written by, by Terrell Alvin McCraney. I hear rocking in the land, rocking in the land and ringing the bells. I know, oh my lord, there's rocking in the land, rocking in the land and ringing the bells. Rock in Jerusalem, rock in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, ringing the bells. Higher Jerusalem, ring them bells. That's not a debate. There's no doubt you are talented, but thank you, you sir. <laughs> really? Yes, Ferris, of course. You you can't be beginning to doubt that, son. I do. It's like every time I turn around, there is something I have done or undone that has me called into question. I think I'm doing right, but Clearly, my instincts must be wrong because I'm what? Not on my knees, thanking the Lord for Drew at every second. I'm grateful, headmaster I am. But should I be more humble or what, groveling, right? Thank Drew for letting me live alongside these good other strapping mean behind boys who don't have no problem displaying all kinds of bad behavior and ill will towards me. But if I remove one of them from my presence so that I can think Long enough without someone drawing attention to my swish or my wrist, I need to be put down, put out. Something about the way I'm standing. When can I show up, do my job, and everyone applaud? Is that allowed at Drew? God, is there anyone looking out for me? It ain't always about what happened. It's about how it looked, too. And it looked like you trying to be the only tenor left standing. I mean, that's what everyone going to think. Just tell the truth. And shame the devil. Hey, we haven't even talked about summers yet. How was yours, Rumi? You bag you a honey or whatever you homies in Willacoochee call it? 
Hurry, tell me we got five minutes. Ferris, I remember you told your mama you were singing our commencement. Lower your voice, boy. Quiet hours. This is me you talking to. You want me to call your mama? No. I like your mama. Anthony. She like me. My mother would never. Oh, I don't know about your mother, but your mama, boy. Woo, yeah. Sit your lanky self down, just all these limbs. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to sing the school song at our graduation and not calm like I did it in the past time. I will go glory like only I can. No offense. Oh, none taken, Ferris, man. We all know you got a gift. Let him use me. But you can't be kicking out Bobby to make sure. Who? The devil is a liar. I did not kick that mean boy out the choir because he could sing better than me. I asked him to leave because he is disruptive. You heard Bobby call me out my name. What? David called you worse last year. Yeah, but he apologized and you just got it in for David. I just don't believe his conversion is 100. Y'all used to bicker all the time. He was always cussing. What's with the besties at this year? The Lord works in mysterious ways. But the devil has a tireless mind. Look. <clears throat> Don't make no foe of Bobby Morrow, man. You heard what that son of blessed assurance said while I was up there singing? Yeah, man, damn. A very special event happened recently at the band's visit. Inside Broadway presented Creating the Magic. They bring thousands of school kids to the theater and show them how theater works from every aspect. Here is a little video of what went on that day. The kids were so delighted. It's a musical, so I was excited for the singing. I'm excited for the dancing. I've never been in a musical, so I'm like, understand why um, why I was able to fall in love with it so deeply. events is taking place soon. The American Songbook at Lincoln Center up at the Appel Room, a host of many wonderful shows. Tony Yazbek will be there on January 30th. Rostam, January 31st. 
Jose Lana appears on February 1st, and Rachel and Vilray on February 2nd. At the Hotel Carlisle and Cafe Carlisle, the season is off to a whopping start. From January 22nd through February 2nd, Diana Agron. Isaac Misrahi will be there from February 5th through the 16th. Over at Green Room 42 in Yotel, Frankie Grande, January 25th and 26th. Young, the children of Broadway, will be there on January 27th. And Tony Award winner Lilius White brings her show to the club on Valentine's Day, February 14th. Over at Birdland, Bistro, Nightlife, and Mac Award winner Natalie Douglas brings her show to the club to celebrate her birthday on January 21st. In the past, Natalie has appeared with Jamie DeRoy and Friends, among many, many other venues. Here is a look at Natalie. When the only sound in the empty street is the heavy tread of the heavy feet, that belongs to a lonesome cup. I open shop. When the moon so long has been gazing down on the wayward ways of this wayward town, that her smile becomes a smirk. January 22nd to the 26th, Anne Hampton Calloway brings the Linda Ronstadt Songbook to Birdland. At the Birdland Theater on Monday, January 28th, singer-songwriter and two-time Tony nominee Amanda Green brings her show to the club. Here's a song about Fran Drescher, in the voice of Fran Drescher, with all apologies to Fran Drescher. Yes, okay. My family comes from flushing, not flush, by any means. I grew and dreamed of stardom in the Tully end of Queens. I talk the way I'm talking, my hair all grizz and curls. I prayed to Barbara Streisand, patron saint of Jewish girls. Barbara, can you hear me? Barbara, can you hear me? I got myself an acting coach, a talent agent too. They said nobody gets famous who looks and talks like you. You ain't got good English. You wear those sprayed on jeans. You're nothing but a bridge and tunnel Yiddish guy from Queens. I was mortified, but as I turned to go, I heard a voice inside me saying, ah, what do they know? Ah, what do they know? I thought, ah, what do they know? Now, technically, they may be correct, but even so, Fran, you come from chosen people. We feel it in our gut. Though I often wonder, chosen for what? But if you try to be somebody else, you won't get very far. So don't be who you think they want. Just be who you are. When I auditioned my TV show, The Nanny, for the networks, I said, as the sound of music, only Jewish, and with the sound of me. <laughs> that's it, that's my friend Richard. <laughs> they said, we love it, but there's always a but. Don't think we don't love ethnic. Ethnic is terrific. We love a little flavor, but why be so specific? Can't you use a tad less Yiddish? Cause the sponsor's getting skittish. Why not make her Italian or better even British? 
I was down to my last dime and out of hold. Still I told Procter and Gamble, no way, no how, no so. You want a shiksa, get a shiksa. Why should I pretend? And I don't know if you know this, but I don't exactly blend. It's in my blood and bones. I understand Jews. Let me play the part my way and put the Jew in Julianne. <laughs> Uh, what do they know? I thought, uh, what do they know? John Pizzarelli's big band plays from January 29th through February 9th upstairs at Jazz at Birdland. At Feinstein's 54 Below, Tony Award winner Lindsay Mendez does her show from January 22nd through the 26th. On Monday, January 28th, the 25th anniversary concert of the revival of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat by Andrew Lloyd Webber. Tony Award winner Alice Ripley brings her show on February 1st and 2nd alongside Brad Simmons with Reimagined Duets. After a sold out run, Jana Robbins and Haley Swindle are back at Feinstein's 54 Below on February 5th and 12th. We just move on the songs of Candor and Ebb. Here is a look at Haley and Jana. So as we play in life's ballet, we're not the dying swan. We just move on. We move on. Life keeps happening every day. Say yes. How about maybe? When opportunity comes your way, you can't start wondering what to say. You'll never win if you never play. Say yes. There's the Empire State Building. There's Times Square, Jenna. And Yankee Stadium. I like Yankee Stadium. We love those city lights, those sparkling city lights, those twinkling city lights, blur in our eyes. A cheap coat and bottle wash. That's what I always was I do when I want some cook and bottle I wash it does Go stand and take the tickets I go make the corn go pop bread to bake and beds to make and rugs to shake and floors to mop Grab it up and charge it That's my favorite phrase How lucky can you get when I see the chauffeur think I'll give him a raise how lucky can you get start spreading the news we're leaving today we want to be a part of it New York New York passions design to last better a match better a blend who needs a lover I need a friend and yes I am and yes I'll be On February 6th, 7th, and 8th, Tony nominee Charles Bush, native New Yorker, appears at the club, joined by his longtime musical director, Tom Judson. At Weill Recital Hall at Carnegie Hall, on January 24th is the CD release party for Stacey Sullivan for her new album, Tornado Alley. To close our show at the Neil Simon Theater is The Share Show. It is such a fun evening. It's written by Rick Ellis, who won the Tony, the Olivier, and the Grammy, and choreographed by Chris Catelli, who won the Tony, the Drama Desk, and the Outer Critics Circle, and directed by Jason Moore, who was nominated for both Tony and Drama Desk. 
and it stars Stephanie J. Block, Tia Wicks, Michaela Diamond, and Jared Spector as Sonny, and Emily Skinner as Cher's mom. Here is a look at the delightful Cher show, costumed by Bob Mackey. You fought if I could fly no way, I'd take back those words that hurt you and you'd stay. I got you to kiss good time. I got you to hold me tight. I got you out of the door. I got you to love me so. I got you, babe. seen the last of me. Oh!